So which one of these fractions is larger? One and one half or one and one fourth? Then how do you know? So the way to figure this out, first off, since we have one here and one here, we can just ignore that. That's the same. So we're not going to worry about that. It's the one half and one fourth. And to compare these two fractions, we need to get a common denominator. Right now we have four and two. But if these were the same, we could just compare the numerators and we'd know whether one and one half is larger than one and one fourth or if it's the same or less. So let's do that. Why don't we do it this way? Let's multiply two times two because that equals four. And now here we already have four. So let's just call this one fourth. So now we have the same denominator, but we can't just multiply this by two. We need to multiply the numerator here by two as well. It's because two over two is one. So we don't change the value, just the way it's represented. One times two is two, and two fourths, that's the same as one half. They're the same thing. But now, same denominator, let's compare the numerators. We can see that two, that's greater than one. So two fourths, that's greater than one fourth. And since these are the same, one half and two fourths, one half, that's greater than one fourth. Remember, we just ignored the one, but let's bring it back. One and one half is greater than one and one fourth. It's Dr. B, and thanks for watching.